Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to New York City. We're in the Lower East Side today, heading towards Chinatown. And uh, I'm going to be shooting with my favorite camera, the Fujifilm X100F. Um, so I do get a lot of comments on other videos and other stuff when I'm shooting with my other cameras, always asking, do you still use the X100F? And of course I do. I couldn't leave this camera behind. I love this little guy. So good. All right, so we're going to go and explore and uh, get some photos along the way. So I've had this camera with me in Tokyo, in London, uh, now in New York, Paris, other places. So I'm just kind of taking it around the world with me. It literally comes with me everywhere. Um, and uh, you'll get to see all the different colors and styles that I'm shooting with in new environments. So yeah, all the images that I'm editing uh, today, the images, they are edited. They're not straight out of camera. Um, and they are using my new preset pack, Urban Stone. Uh, so I hope you like the style of that. It's kind of all about the urban brickwork that you find in uh, some of the older cities around Europe um, and now also inspired by some of the block and stone of New York. I'm just gonna wait for the car to move because I want to get shots of this street art. And uh, there's some nice light falling on it as well. There's one thing that's kind of interesting with, I guess, just built up cities and Manhattan is of course one of those. When you've got such tall buildings and like avenues of streets and like just grid format, the way the light comes across the city is like, is really different in midday compared to other cities. So yeah, I'm just kind of like spotting buildings that are glowing from the sides and stuff and that's kind of catching my attention and getting some shots with those. It's also really hard to try and get a shot that's maybe kind of empty or just waiting for the right car to come through because there's always like a big truck and then a little car. So it's kind of a bit of a waiting game a lot of the time. It's just whether you decide if it's worth it or not, depending on the view. I'm not sure on this location. change of plan. We met her with Shu though. Hello. Hello. Me again. <laughs> uh, so we're no longer going to be shooting around Chinatown and uh, Lower East Side because daylight is kind of caught up on us um, and we wanted to take a boat this evening uh, for the sunset going around like Lower Manhattan because uh, we're running out of days. We've only really got like two more full days in Manhattan and uh, we want to see it from the water. So we've come up to Times Square and we're getting the bus and then uh, we're going to take the ferry uh, it's the star, is it, what's it called? The Circle Line? Circle Line. The Circle Line Sightseeing something. Very. Yeah, we got a voucher for it, so uh, we're just going to take that and make the most of it. Also, I didn't vlog it yesterday, but we came up here to uh, this McDonald's here. Do you feel like you're 17 again? Yeah. I'm just going to recreate an image I got last time I was here. Now, when I first came to New York like 10 years ago, I got a shot of the McDonald's uh, that I was quite pleased with. It was kind of like one of my favorites from the trip. Um, bearing in mind, I was like 16, 17 at the time. So uh, yeah, it was all very new to me. Um, but then further around the corner, we went and saw the New York Times building, which is a sign that I've been wanting to see for a long time. It's really quite cool the way it's been made. Um, you should go and check it out. It's, uh, I'll link it in the description to Pentagram's uh, blog about it. We're getting anywhere very fast because of all this. All right, change of plan. So there's no chance we're going to make it to the ferry in time. Uh, our bus got nowhere. Uh, to be honest, probably shouldn't have taken a bus thinking about it. Uh, I think that was a bit of a mistake, but there was a whole street closed off with loads of fire trucks about, so I don't know what was going on. Um, so now, because we're running out of even more time, we're trying to do something else that's kind of nearby. And um, today's kind of running away with us with the daylight. So I think we're just going to go to 
uh, the ESB, Empire State Building, and uh, see if we can do a nighttime viewing. Uh, we're going up to Rockefeller tomorrow, so that's kind of our daytime sky view, I guess. Empire State. Mate, it's a pretty good, yeah. Yeah, quite nice view. Loved it. It's like sunset's banging, isn't it? I've got all them shots. Anyway, we just. JLM.com says shop. Alright, so we made it up to the Empire State Building in the end, and uh, not gonna lie, that was pretty hectic at the start because there were so many people up there, as you can imagine, because it's a great view. Um, and uh, I managed to uh, kind of stick my lens over some heads, got a few shots, and even managed to get a few long exposures, which I think came out some, like pretty well. Uh, but one little caveat, um, I was using my X-H1. Um, so I switched cameras because this one does have a stabilized sensor, so uh, I didn't continue with the X100F. Today was a bit of a weird flop, um, but I think I still managed to get some pictures. Uh, I'm not sure what happened in Midtown with all those fire trucks. I uh, hope everything's all right. But we're now gonna go get some food. Uh, I'm gonna get some Japanese stuff because it's right around the corner. Ellie's hungry, she's literally biting my hand. <laughs> and uh, Shu is biting Ellie, telling her to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want a hot toddy. I want a hot whiskey. Are you ready then? We're ready. No. For a hot whiskey? I guess I don't know what I'm right. saying, so sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you like cod roe then? Put it aside there? Oh my god! I've got corn 